All right, it's a rainy day, can't go motorcycling, so might as well make a video on small engines in July on a snowblower. Why not, right? It's a 10 horse Tecumseh motor, and it's got a high jet and low jet carburetor on it. Now, let's see. First of all, we have the low mix, the idle speed jet right here. And also we have the high speed jet, which is down here on the bottom. And that'll adjust the fuel mix when the motor is running at high RPM, which we'll get to in a moment. So we got low speed, high speed. And then also we have the idle screw up here. This adjusts the idle speed of the motor when it's at idle. And of course this is the choke. But let's get into what these three screws actually do. First of all, I'll start the motor up and we'll let it idle and I'll turn the idle screw in and out so you can hear the engine speed speed up and down with the amount of the screw being turned. Okay, so that's the function of the idle screw and you can tell it's the idle screw because it is uh, stop so that when the throttle closes and that's what's swinging open and closed up here there's a tab that comes arrest against the end of the screw so there's that's your idle screw it affects how far the throttle opens and closes at idle next Let's experiment with the slow speed fuel mix screw. This adjusts how much fuel mixes with the air coming into the carburetor at low speed. Okay, so you could hear the difference in the low speed fuel mix jet. As I was turning it in, you could hear it starving for fuel. The engine was slowing down. As I turned it out past where it's best set, it started to run rough, meaning it was getting too much fuel. So I turned it back in until I'm about halfway between those two points. And it's running nice and smooth and steady. And that's what you want it to do. Okay, so now let's tackle the third screw in this carburetor. Some only have a one fuel mix screw and that adjusts the fuel mix for the high speed as well. But on this one, there are two. The other one is down here on the bottom of the float bowl. And this is the high speed mix screw. So we'll look down at that more uh, intently, okay? And let's listen to the motor on high RPM and turn this so you can hear what it's doing for, a, for that adjustment.
Okay, hopefully you could hear how the motor was uh, hunting. It was the, the governor was trying to regulate the speed, but it kept, ho it kept hovering back and forth. It was too lean. And then you could hear how the motor was stuttering when it was too rich, when the screw was turned out too much. It was letting too much fuel go in with the air and that was causing the motor to stutter. And there were a few turns, about a turn, turn and a half distance between the two. So sometimes it takes experimenting back and forth to find that sweet spot in the middle where it's running smooth, it's not hunting as far as the RPM goes, and it's not stuttering as a too rich or too much fuel condition. I hope this helps clear up some of the mysteries about the idle screw, low speed screw, which you adjust on idle only, and high speed screw, which you adjust on high speed only.